What Welcome up? back. Ooh, is everyone so excited to be here right now? I am. Good. I would hope that you were. I am. We have a special guest with us today. This is Harold, the hippo. He wanted to come hang out. He's so. cool. He's chill like that. It's kind of really hot in here, so I can't have my blanket like normal. Yeah. There but. was a, a couple episodes I said our AC was probably out. Uh, it wasn't. It is. It, it is now, now is. Uh, yeah. 78 degrees in here. So that's And super- rising. Oh, the fan is going. Do you think it matters? No. Okay. It's pretty quiet. Okay. Um, Let's... Let's do Bev of the Day first. Okay. Just get that out of the way. All right, you ready? Yeah, you're, okay. you go first. I have water. Beautiful. And your favorite water bottle. And my favorite Yeti water bottle, half off at Bass Pro Shop. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. And I have a Blondie from Seven Brew with cold foam. And Blondie is basically the same thing as a Golden Eagle from Dutch Bros. Which is basically just caramel vanilla latte. And what was the best part about that drink? The cold foam. Oh, I was, it was. Oh, that it was free. It was free. <laughs> they gave her a free drink. Yeah, I had a free drink to use that I didn't know about until we got there. So that was a nice little surprise. Um, Honeymoon. Any other updates before we get into that hot mess? I don't think so. Okay, well let's let's debrief about it. We went on our honeymoon. Boo. Boo. We got food poisoning. No, we had a stomach bug. My stomach mom bug. Sings. My mom, the medical professional, believes that we had a stomach bug. Mm-hmm. So we got to go to the park for half a day. We got to ride pretty much everything. In that park. In that park. And at Hollywood Studios. Yeah. Um, And then after that, it was game over. So we literally didn't do anything else. Stayed in our hotel room the entire time. So I'm wearing these ears because they were, what, $35? 30 bucks. Yeah. Um, and I didn't really get to wear them. So we're wearing them right now. And also maybe to help me not play with my hair as much. Cause I noticed that I was playing with my hair a lot in the past few episodes. It's been pretty bad. And I feel like that's really annoying. So. Same. So that's why I have a hat on. <laughs> there we go. Simple problem. Do you have anything else to say before we get into? I am going on my mystery trip. I know it was kind of up in the air last time. Oh, true. But I am going to a place where the greats, the, 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 lake. the greats are lake. Dude, <laughs> the lakes are great. Yeah. Uh, ne- Not next week, week after that. Yeah. So. That'll be fun. That will be fun. It'll be a good time. And I do want to specify they did give us three free park days to use at any point in the next two years. So we were able to get somewhat of a refund. You're playing with your hair already. Oh my gosh. That's, I'm going to hold stop, Harold. Stop. Stop. Okay. But we were able to get some sort of compensation. So that is good. Thank yeah. you, Disney. Just not in the flights or our hotel room. Okay, well, you, they can't. It's fine. Okay. Um, I did have one thing that I wanted to talk about as mm-hmm. well before we get into the meat and potatoes. Go for it. Okay. So there's this trend going around on TikTok right now um, that it's like, I never... It's mainly just saying, I never loved like brown eyes until I found you or something like that. And I'm, I'm calling bull on that. Oh. Because like... Yes, I love your eyes. Like, I love your face. Thank you. Obviously. Thank you. But I still think that, like, blue eyes are prettier. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't look at me and tell me that brown eyes are prettier than blue eyes. I think they can be. I like green eyes a lot. That's not, but that, like, that's not brown. Colors. Okay, I'm not. Why are you arguing with me? <laughs> why are you arguing I'm with me? I'm just saying, I feel like these people are lying. There's no way. Yeah, they're kind of ugly. Like, I love your face. I'm Thanks. not trying to say that your eyes are ugly. Oh, no, that's fine. But... You know what? You've done a really good job of talking with your eyes open on the podcast. Thank you. I've been okay, really well, not right now. Well, you're making fun of my eye color. No, so. I'm not making fun of it. I'm just saying. I think colored eyes are prettier than brown eyes. <laughs> That's a little racist. Oh, my gosh. Whatever. Blue eyes. What's next? <laughs> Blonde hair. <laughs> but I just wanted to point that out. So if you participate in that trend, you're a liar. Probably. Well, on that note, let's get into today's episode. Into the meat and potatoes. All right, Haven, what are we doing today? So basically what I did is I harassed all of our friends to send us questions. And for some reason, this was really hard for them to understand. I don't know why. I don't know. You also pulled it on Instagram. I think you should say that. Yeah. Because we do have some Instagram. We have a few from Instagram. Mm -hmm. Um, But I just basically asked 
ask any question. Anything. Um, and some people were really confused. They were like, well, what kind of question? I'm like, any question. But that's okay. <laughs> we got to the bottom of it and we have some... We have some questions. We do. From some fine folks today that we're going to answer. Yeah, we are. We're going to do that. Yeah, we are. And I'm going to name drop all these people because I don't think any of them care. I don't... I mean, if they put in the effort to send in a question, I think... The ones from Instagram, I don't think they're going to care either. Yeah, I don't think so. So, um... Who do we have first? Pull up. Can I try your drink, by the way? Yeah. Can you hand it to me so it's impolite to reach? Well, you're saying made me reach? Yeah, so I'm very good. Okay, well, that's your own opinion. I'm going to wash it down with some nice water. Okay. So, the first question is from Logan. Oh, okay. Strong start. And I have no idea what this question means. Oh, good. So, we're going to try to figure it out together. Okay, let's go for it. Do you ever think about waking up while going to bed? Like, the time that passes that you'll be literally waking up, but you don't know the time passes. (laughs) Yeah, sometimes. What does that mean? I couldn't understand. Basically, I mean, when you're trying to go to bed, you're like, I'm literally going to not remember anything, and then I'm going to wake up in the morning, and I'm going to just have a new day. What? What? Time passes and you don't realize it while you're asleep. Right. So basically, I do this a lot when I'm trying to go to bed where I'm just sitting there. and I'm like, I'm just going to literally eventually like go to bed, not going to remember anything. And then like eight or so hours have passed and I will now be awake. That. Mm, yeah. OK. There's not much more to it than that. So The answer is yes. I do think about that sometimes. I've never thought about that. OK. So next question. OK, let's see. OK. The next question is from Madison. Okay. This question is, who were you in your past life or is this your first? And she wants to specify, like, not saying, like, what type of decade you wanted to live in. Not like that. Like, a job, a location, a time period, your culture, that kind of thing. And I'm going to give you some time to think about that. I already have my answer. Oh, you do? Do you have your answer? Well, I have a half an answer. Well, okay, give it to me. I'll give you so, half of a response. This question was really interesting to me because um, a few years ago, I tried to do one of those like hypnosis things on YouTube mm-hmm. where it shows you what your past life was. Okay. Um, and all I remember is seeing Shrek, like the world of Shrek. Okay. So I don't know if that means that I was in that world. Like maybe I'm donkey, you You're know? probably gingy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, But that doesn't really... I mean, I guess your past life could be in another universe. I guess it doesn't necessarily have to be this universe. Okay. But I don't, I don't know. What, what is your answer? I don't think I had one. I don't believe in it. You don't? Mm. I think it's kind of, um, in, in my personal belief, believing in like past lives or like trying to pull from that kind of, kind of takes away from what you're currently doing. Because it's almost like setting yourself on some sort of pre, predetermined, predestined path. And I think it's important that we, like, look at what we have done and not try to infer, like, oh, I'm only this way because of this. Or I only have these certain traits because of a past life. I think you just exist right now. Interesting. Yeah. Like, maybe the Buddhist belief of, like, you get reincarnated into something. Right. I'm not necessarily, like, I was President Gerald Ford. And right. now I'm me. You know what I mean? Like I could have been a butterfly. I could have been like something naturistic. Right. So. Who is that? Gmail. Oh, <laughs> um, I don't know. I think it's cool to think about. I mean, obviously there's no way to like prove that. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I feel like I would definitely have been in like Victorian England era. Yes. Um. And just been like a wife that sat on her pretty couch and ordered people around. Probably owned slaves. Okay, that is not what I meant. You probably own slaves. But I just okay. But that's what I think. If I if I was anything, I think that's what it would have been. I mean, I agree. You have a, like a draw towards Victorian era things. Yeah. For, I mean, people have their own interests, but like. A little odd. But it's not like I I know a lot about that. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know a lot of information about it. I just feel pulled to it. You know, it's not like I've researched it and I'm like obsessed with it in that way. Yeah. I just think it's really cool. And I like the antique stuff from mm-hmm. that era, you know? Yeah. I think if I had to answer that question, I'd say I was a rock. Honestly, that's so fit your vibe. That's pretty. 
I wish I was a rock now. That's pretty spot on. I like rocks. True. Kiki Palmer said that one time in an interview. What? She likes rocks? That she wanted to be a rock. Me and Kiki Palmer are the same. Really. Person. Love her. She's an icon. She's awesome. Okay, I'm going to go to Instagram. Okay. So the first person that wrote in was my cousin Maggie. Shout out Maggie. Emphasis on cousin. Um, Because the first question she asked me was, who is your favorite family member and why? <laughs> okay. Um, And my answer is going to be my dog, Bo. <laughs> really? I can't pick. Are you pick, trying to main? Yeah, not I can't pick anybody. Do I have so to pick I'm somebody pick, from your family? No, not from my family. From your family. Oh, John. But I guess we could pick. Um, each other's family. Each other's family. All right. What's your answer for me? I also picked John. Really? Yeah, I, I think so. I figured you would have won Brittany. See, it was between John and um, your sister-in-law, Brittany. Mm-hmm. But I think John. I'm going to go with your mom. Oh, I wasn't expecting you to say that. No. I thought you were going to say my nephew. No. The one that you love. Yes. Okay. Your mom. Slay. That's a great choice. Mm-hmm. I mean, I love her I too. Would hope so. I would hope you would think that. <laughs> okay. And then she sent in another question. And she said, would you rather lose your sense of taste or touch? I've already done it. So taste. Oh, true. With Thanks. With COVID. Thanks to you. That is a funny story. I gave like 15 people COVID and all of them had it way worse than I did. You were asymptomatic. Yeah. You had no fucking symptoms. And, and I lost my taste or smell for, <laughs> for seven months. <laughs> my best friend Isabel still has like really bad taste. Yeah. Like it's all screwed up. So what does that say about you being a shitty friend like that? Okay. You probably don't even care. You probably do it again if you could. Obviously. Why would I do that again? Because you hate us. Isabel can barely eat. I yeah, wouldn't do it again. Because you hate her. No. You hate Isabel. She's literally one of my favorite people of all time. Mm. Uh, okay. Okay. Is that why you gave her COVID? I didn't mean to give her COVID. Mm. <laughs> oh my goodness. Likely story. It was just funny because everyone was suffering. We would all like get on Discord together and they were all suffering. And I was like, la da 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 da, I'm having a great time. Mm-hmm. Well, you have paresthesia now. Oh, that's not because of COVID. That's because of the... It happened after I got my vaccine. The damn vaccines. But I don't really think it had to do with that. But maybe it did. I don't you, know. You didn't answer the question. Oh, um, I think taste, even though that sounds really sucky, I feel like I would hate not being able to like give you a hug. Yeah. You know? Well, you could give me a hug. You just wouldn't like feel the sensation. Yeah. But then I don't know if I would be able to feel like the love and like the emotion in the hug. Yeah. You know? I mean, I'm right there. Because I don't know how much that connects to that. Like if I touch is a big one. It's kind of hard to like, it kind of fucks with your ability to like, if you were grabbing something, you wouldn't be able to feel that you're holding it. You would just have to like trust. That's so true. And you have to use your hands for everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think taste. Unless you have no hands. Even though that would be so bad. What like would you miss the taste of most? I know mine. Yeah, go for it then. Give me time to think. Honey mustard. <laughs> what? I put it on yeah, everything. I know. It's so good. <laughs> Um, or soda. Grapes don't really have like I mean they have a taste, but I'm not about the taste. It's about the crunch. <laughs> Pretzels maybe. I do like chocolate milk. You're picking things that barely have flavor. Chocolate milk. Pretzels and grapes. That doesn't really have. I don't. It's more about the texture. I'm not I feel a like. super huge taste what guy. What about like seafood? Like you could never have a really nice seafood platter. I mean, I could. Yeah, but you Texture is important. Okay, but okay. Shrimp. Okay. Shrimp. Then if you're gonna twist my fucking leg about it. Oh, well, I'm just saying, because that's like a delicacy to you. Like when you sit down to have seafood. What? It's a funny word. Did I not use it no, right? You, it's a funny word. Oh, I was like, damn, am I dumb? <laughs> I mean, yes, mm-hmm. but yeah, I just think honey mustard because I put it on everything that it would just ruin. Like Mountain if I Dew. Could, yeah, I'm Mountain Dew. That would be up there. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Maggie, for the... I thank you, everyone, who sent in questions. We might do this again if this goes well. Yeah, hopefully. Maybe. Okay. Faith wrote in a question. Mm -hmm. Actually, she wrote in two questions as well. Two. So I'm going to break them down into two parts. Okay. Favorite high school memory. Okay. Go. Um, Well, there's like four years to think about. I know. That is a lot of time to think about. I... Hmm. I mean, there's a lot of positive memories. 
favorites are kind of hard one to pick and i don't have i don't have no good i have no good memory i i think i have a favorite one okay go for it when i was on the homecoming court senior year Mm -hmm. and all my family came and then after i had done like my thing where i like walked on the football court and or field yeah whatever and then i went to the student section Mm -hmm. and i got to go like be on the trash cans and stuff in my dress that was really fun i don't know if that's like my favorite but that comes to mind does it have to do does do i have to answer like my high school time like time that i spent in high school or does it have to be like uh, associated like being at school or doing a school i think it should have something to do with school because if it's like a high school like if i said like new york yeah that would count because that's associated with school a specific part of new york uh, this is hard because there's a lot of memories uh, or when we were in LA and I saw you randomly walking up with that wrestler mask on in the middle of the street in public. That was a good one. I was like, what is that kid doing? I'm trying to think. I just farted and I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it or not. I liked when the guy came and spoke about dinosaurs, how they don't exist. That's what you picked? I don't know. I'm trying to think. Like, best memory, does it like quantify like funniest? Does it quantify like most sentimental? Well, I picked mine like sentimental. Like, that moment is sentimental to me. Like, just... Graduating. <laughs> I pick graduating. Yeah. Okay. If it has to do with high school, I pick graduating. Okay. Good answer. Thank you. Okay. Her second question was a breakdown of how we started our relationship. <laughs> and that made me laugh. Okay. So the question is to break down how we started our relationship. Mm-hmm. Okay, so essentially me and Haven were friends because we both did theater and choir to a short extent. The arts, right? Right. We were, I mean, we we were like acquaintances, uh, like freshman, sophomore year. Right. And then you tried to help me hook up with a female. Not, don't say hook up. Help me hook up. That sounds like help me start dating a female yes. who, I, who I liked. Uh, that didn't go well. Right. And then we became friends. Me and uh, you. Yes. You started liking me. Mm-hmm. I did not like you. Mm-hmm. Nine months passed. We went to Disney World. We started dating. Okay, well, that's go- That's the short and skinny. And the way that he asked me was, um, he looked at me and he said, you're my friend. And then I said, well, you're my best friend. Naturally. And then you said, well, you're my girlfriend. And I said... Okay. It was really smooth of me. Also. Okay, let's be quiet. I think he pulled someone over right over there. Because the siren didn't go away. It just kind of stopped. Okay. But he asked me at Fantasmic in Disney World. That's when that moment happened. And we didn't even get to go. Sorry. To see the show. I'm sorry that I threw up. (laughs) I'm so sorry. So, but it was really funny because we were all sitting there with all of our friends because it was a school trip and i like turned to like calissa i think Mm -hmm. and i was like we're dating now and then it like got sent around like telephone it was really silly high school is really silly it was funny um i mean do we want to break it down a little bit more than that or is that like a good i don't know basically it was a lot of back and forth yeah i was like oh i kind of like you it was like a will they won't they (laughs) but it was like parker will they won't they just in my head (laughs) Um, but then he would like he would flirt with me for like a week and I'd be like, oh my gosh, like it's going to happen. We're going to start dating. And then the next week he would like completely ignore me. And then I'd be like in my emo era. And then the next week it would be back to flirting. I just really didn't know what I wanted. And I really didn't want to commit to a relationship, especially in high school. Yeah. Um, I was so emo that I would go to his place of work and I would just sit there and cry sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> In a public space. I was like, why the fuck is she here right now? (laughs) Trying to scoop damn ice cream. And she's sitting in the corner. I was so emo about it. It was really weird. We're both kind of weird. I tell people, like, when they ask, that, like, I just had a feeling. Because, like, sometimes people ask me, like, why did you wait so long? Like, why did you deal with that? Mm -hmm. But I just had, like, a gut feeling that, like, you were important in my life. Yeah. I didn't have that. Okay, well... I'm sorry. I do now, I guess. <laughs> After the vows, I kind of felt it. Right. <laughs> right then. Mm-hmm. But like, I just couldn't give up on it for some reason. Like, I really wanted to, but something in my brain was like, you can't. You fucking should have. You just got to keep it. Why? We're married. <laughs> <laughs> it worked out. 
Sure. Thank you for the questions. <laughs> You're going to say that after everyone? Yeah, I might. Okay. You're going to be an asshole about it. These are some questions from Isabel. She sent in a few. A few? Let's answer them quickly. So her first question is, if you could go back in time to high school. Oh, my God. What is something you would have changed in the beginning of you and Parker's relationship? That was a good segue. A good segue. Uh, probably everything. Next question. I just think I would have changed um, how dramatic I was. Yeah. Like the crying in the ice cream shop. I would have changed that, too. You yelling at me in the parking lot. Okay, that was after we started dating. Oh, I guess it says in the beginning. Yeah, it doesn't have to be yeah. that. I, would I was still dramatic. It still doesn't change my point. Um, I would just like be me now instead of me then. That's what I would change. But then our relationship wouldn't be what it is now. Yeah, but I would also... I so would, it's hard. I, here's what I would do. That it would just give us all the more time. I would just make us then, both of us back then, us now. And then we would have like four and a half more years. Yeah, but I'm saying like... I don't think you can mess with time that way. Well, it's a hypothetical. It's an Isabel hypothetical. I know, but it's... Well, we're not getting to the semantics of time travel. No, I'm just saying, like, everyone always says, like, if you could change anything about your life, like, what would you want to change? But I always say I don't want to change anything because I don't want to change the outcome of where I am right now. I think we still would have ended up together. I mean, but I'm thinking you never know. I don't... So okay, I don't well, really want to change anything except maybe tone down the dramatics a little bit. I would do what I said. Okay. Okay, her second question is, out of both of your friend groups, what is one thing you love and dislike about each person? <laughs> Every person? Yeah. So, I guess we're going to do, like, a speed run. So, like, I have to do your friend group, too? Um. What? Re, re yes. say that. So, I'm going to list the people in your friend group, and then I'm going to say one thing I do like about them and one thing I don't. And then I do the same with your friend group. Yes. Okay. So, I'm going to go. I'm going to do, like, a speed run. Oh, you're, you already have it. No, I'm just going to go. Okay, go. Okay, Jackson. I love that I can talk to him about anything. And I don't love how dramatic he is. But, like, same. Yeah, I was about to say. Okay, when I love how comfortable and, like, um, open to be myself I can be around him. Mm -hmm. And I don't like that... We have been bad at communicating lately. Okay. Ethan W. Okay. I like his sense of humor. Mm -hmm. I don't like that he has sickness that makes him unable to enjoy fun activities sometimes. Okay. Ryan, I like... Mm, his I, muscles. Yeah, his muscles. And sometimes his sense of style. Okay. Sometimes. Do I have to bring up the fedora? Parker, that throw one? up a photo of Ryan in that <laughs> fedora and suspenders at the beach. I said sometimes. Okay. I like how he always looks like he's going somewhere important. Okay. And I don't like how he makes me uncomfy sometimes. <laughs> okay. And Brandon, I like his ability to make me laugh. He can make me laugh pretty okay. much every time I talk to him. Okay. And I don't like how he made everyone sad at one point. That's fair. Okay. Okay. Uh, I haven't thought about it at all because I was so enthralled about what you wanted <laughs> to say. Do you want to throw up some like Jeopardy well, music? Well, does it need to be like which friend group are we talking about? I was just thought you were going to do the equivalent to mine. Okay. Um. So with Logan, I like the stupid shit that she says because <laughs> it's funny to laugh at. Um. What do I not like about Logan? I don't like that she doesn't know how to clean the dishes <laughs> she never learned how to clean dishes that's because we lived with Logan. and then we blamed it she blamed it on me <laughs> that was kind of fucking not nice <laughs> okay um isabel uh, she's chill super like chill okay what do i not like about isabel she can't read she that can't... is not her fault she has dyslexia well it's I, you it doesn't matter okay you picked ethan cygnus i can pick i don't like the fact she can't read Oh, like you want to fix that for her? Yes. Oh, okay. I'm trying to be nice. Okay, yeah. It's like, then, yeah, okay. Yeah. You're throwing me off my mojo here. Sorry. Uh, Calissa, um, I like that she broke up with Jacob. <laughs> that that was not cool of her. Um, I don't like her sense of style. Damn. Yeah. Really like the cowboy boots. Like, I, I, I'm a Broadway girl. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, I mean, that's really... You can do Madison, Kitty, and Lincoln, okay. too, if you want. Um, Madison, you're basically just Haven. She's, I mean, <laughs> so, like, same qualities. Yeah. 
Um, what do I not like about Madison? Mm. She's always doing shit. You know what I mean? She's always like going places. Like, what's that about? I don't know. Um, Katie. Um, my favorite part about Katie is she's the, probably the funniest person I know. <laughs> um, at least favorite part about Katie, she moved with uh, my favorite dog on the planet. She took Slinky away from me. I know. Forever. She will be a bitch because she took Slinky <laughs> away from me. Um, and then Lakin. Lakin, I like her positivity. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do I not like about Lakin? Mm-hmm. Sometimes she seems like spaced out. True. Sometimes I look over at Lake and she's just doing this. <laughs> so that's what I that's that's my answer. Okay, good. Next, we got it. That took a minute. That was a good one though. Yeah. Okay. Third question: If you could master be a master at one hobby, what would it be? Cooking. Oh, that's good. Um, I think mine is singing. I just want to sing so bad. Yeah. It's all I've ever wanted to do. I also wish you could master that. <laughs> Why? Because you suffer from my yes. inability. <laughs> yes. Tone deaf. Can't hold a fucking rhythm. <laughs> like bad. I know. And it's so sad because I just want to be so good at it. I know. You're not. Okay. That's, that's okay. We get the point. It just makes me mad because you're good at it and I'm not. I'm okay at it. Okay. Just Don't take reveal the, all my secrets. Don't reveal com- all my secrets. Take the compliment. Thank take, you. Thank you. Thank you, Haven, for saying that. <laughs> but it just makes me sad because I wish I could. Well... But you're like good at cooking. You just want to like. I want to. I want to be like. I want to be. I want to be Carmi on the bear. Yes, but singing, I literally can't do a lick of it. Mm-hmm. What? Why did you say a lick of it? Like I. I know what it means. Why did you just say that? <laughs> I don't know. Because I'm you? an old person. <laughs> okay, moving on. Thank, Thank you, you for Isabel. the questions. <laughs> you sound. You sound like you're. Like I feel like Dave Ramsey on his podcast. <laughs> yeah. thank, thank you for the question. You're <laughs> fucking broke. <laughs> okay. Lakin's question is, what parts of yourself do you see in one another? Uh, what have you stolen from me? I can't just go on and on. What do you mean? You've taken so many parts of my personality. So have you. No. Fuck no. Yeah, huh? Fuck no. You like meld into one person, I think. So. No, no. Parts of God, your, no. Parts of your personality when you spend that much time with someone... You share a lot of the same traits. Yes, you start to... You don't become one fuck... We don't fucking okay, amalgamate. I, I, <laughs> I worded that wrong. I'm, I apologize. All right, go for it. One or a couple things. Um, Are you answering that you, that you see in me that has changed that is parts of you? Something about myself that I see in you. Okay. Something... <laughs> don't smile what? at me like... <laughs> I'm just trying to... Why? I'm listening. <laughs> I can't take you seriously okay. when you look like that. Um, I think our humor is very similar. Because mm-hmm. you stole it from me. That is not true. That was going to be my answer because you took my sense of humor. No, I think we took it from each other. I mean, other. you weren't funny when we started dating. Okay, that is so rude. That is so true. Okay, and... I can say that because I love you. You couldn't wear clothes properly. Yeah. Let's that's a good it. answer. I took your sense of style and elevated it. Okay. That is... For really myself. Good. Okay. I made it my own, but it was because of you. I'm trying to think of other things. I feel like you also learned um, how to better, like, communicate with strangers in public. Yeah. I, mm-hmm. <laughs> Like, you're still not really good at it. Oh, okay. But you've gotten a lot better. It's your compliment sandwiching me. <laughs> your compliment sandwiching well, me. Well, still sometimes I'm like, I'm just going to go ask. And you're like, no, no, please don't. <laughs> please don't. I'm like, Parker, it doesn't matter. Their job is to answer my question. Yeah, but like, why bother them? They're just sitting over there. <laughs> but it's their job. Well, I don't care. I don't want to I don't want to be an asshole. It's not being an asshole. Well, sometimes it is. If sometimes you, you gotta. you have to be the asshole for me. Yeah, I do. I can't be confrontational, so you I have know. to be confrontational. When we were in Disney, Parker tried to get, like, a refund on I the I was day. like, hey, do you guys mind? Like, we are really sick, and I'm sorry. And they were like, I was like, oh, okay. And then I tried, and they immediately gave us stuff. And I was like, okay, I should have just tried in the first place. Yeah, I, I don't know why I sent you. <laughs> okay, that is that question. Thank you for the question, Lincoln. Okay, and then we have questions from Jackson. He sent three. Okay. So the first one is your biggest hot take. And I have two. Okay. 
So my first one um, is that bullying is okay. Sometimes. Not all the time. I think mild bullying, mild, okay. not extreme. Okay. Mild bullying is okay. Because sometimes people do not know how to act in public. And sometimes they just need to be bullied just a little bit to get them in line. Because, like, if you have a homeschooler who's never really interacted with people Mm -hmm. and they come out saying the most whack thing Mm -hmm. and everyone's secretly judging them, tell them to their face. Tell them. Stop doing that. People are judging you. Here's how to make it better. Okay. That is my first hot take. My second hot take is that it is okay to wear pajamas in public. Okay. And I will stand by that. There's a reason they're hot takes. Uh, I don't know if I have a lot. I I think most mainstream pop artists kind of suck. Okay. Like, I don't like Adele. Taylor Swift fucking sucks. Like, okay, wait. I I don't think she's a good singer. Adele? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. You don't think Adele... No, I think she's just fine. Like, we're talking about the same... Like, the British lady? There is no other Adele. Hello from the other side? Yeah, she has one name. It's Adele. You don't think she's a good singer? No, she's just fine. Like, Dua Lipa is a better singer than her. What are you... It's a hot take. It's a hot take. No, 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 no. no. You... No. Listen. Okay. I kept my mouth fucking shut. Okay, you didn't have to. Okay, but it's a hot take. I It's supposed to be okay. controversial. Okay. So don't give me shit. Okay. My second one is, for some people apparently, that AJR fucking sucks. <laughs> you like AJR, fuck you. I'm doubling down. <laughs> I will even... Uh, Madison and Katie. <laughs> oh, oh, but some nights... No. Some nights is not... Fun is not the same as AJR. <laughs> Did some did fun fucking go? Let's go out with a bang. Here we go. Like who does that in a song? That's my hot fucking take. Okay, I'm with you on that one. But the Adele, that's a little out there. Like she's talented vocally. You don't think so? Mm. I think she's all right. She's just British. That has nothing to do. Okay. I'm. I don't think she's that good. Okay, we're gonna move on. Okay. Okay. This next one is foul that Jackson asked this. Okay. And you're going to... Hold on, my ears are messed up. Am I going to agree with you, you think? You're going to understand why it's foul that he asked this. It's not foul for you. It's foul for me. Okay, go ahead. Did your parents tell you what your name would have been if you were born the other gender? You want to answer that question? Um, I don't know because my parents are dead. Jackson, and you know this... (laughs) Is it my turn? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get the chance to ask. <laughs> Thanks, Jackson. Thank you, Jackson. <laughs> what would you want your name to be if you were the other gender? I don't know. If you were I've never a, thought about that. A woman. Parker Rita. Probably just Parker. Oh, I guess you could be just Parker. Yeah, I could. I don't think Haven fits a masculine vibe. But I guess I could have been like a fin, Break gender a norms. fin boy. But what I if you were I born would... as a they them? True. I think I, if I was a boy, I'd want my name to be like Saturn or something crazy like that. Okay. Astro. Something like space vibes. Maybe not those specific. The moon. <laughs> I want my name to be the moon. Like, I don't know. Uh, maybe not specifically those, but like something. Oh, Oh, well, fuck. I was going to say guy fight, but. That's that... just if you. Okay, if I was a woman, I'd be guy. I would like to be guy fight. <laughs> That's crazy. I think it's hard to like imagine myself with another name, though. Because like, I feel like my name just fits me. I can. I, t- I mean, I have two names. Okay, well, good for you. Okay, Jesus fucking <laughs> Christ, dude. You're stomping on my point. Okay, good. I don't really like my name. But, like, I don't, um, I can't imagine myself with another name. Uh, I think your name is very pretty. I also can't imagine you without another name. I'm glad you think my name is pretty, because I don't. Yeah, fucking drag racers, dude. It's so bad. We live right by the fucking interstate. I know. Okay, and then the last question. Is this the last question? Unless you want to. Like, is this the last user-submitted question, or is yeah. it more? Okay. Unless you want to answer some of the TikTok ones. We, what about you? I thought you were going to ask me questions. No, no, no. That would be a different episode. Why don't you ask me one? Okay. After this one. Okay. Favorite cheese and least favorite cheese. 
Okay, you want to go first because I think mine might shock you. Really? Mm hmm Okay, my favorite cheese is Colby Jack. Mm hmm I think my least favorite cheese is probably Gouda. It's kind of mean. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, my favorite cheese is Brie. Ew. Or blue cheese. Ew. Are you joking? Mm -hmm. Those are also my least favorite cheeses. Uh, I have never met a cheese. I've never met a cheese that I haven't enjoyed. I've never eaten a cheese that I've never fucking enjoyed. But what about the cheese from Diary of a Wimpy Kid? I've never fucking eaten that. It's fictional. But, but it still could be your least favorite cheese. It doesn't say you had to have eaten it. Oh, so true. Oh, then my favorite cheese is from Foster's Home, Imaginary Friends. <laughs> okay. And my least favorite cheese is Dick Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> okay. From Munda Cheese. <laughs> Good. Okay, you want me to ask some of the questions that I've yeah written down yeah. that i don't understand about the world yeah just, a, just throw a, how, how much time do we have i don't know how do i tell uh you read i can't see you we've been going for 36 minutes so you can ask me a few okay what is the difference between a university and a college i don't know can you google that i don't want i want to know i threw my phone on the ground like go get it like 20 minutes ago go get it no go google it no we have to answer the question no you have a lot. You're okay. fine. Fine. Twist my fucking arm. No, I'm doing no, it. No, it's already. fine. I'm already Googling it. You don't know how to Google. I'm already on it. You don't know how to Google. University refers no, to up. larger. Bah, 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 bah. Let me read it. Okay. University refers to larger institutions offering both undergrad and grad. College refers to community colleges, technical schools, and liberal arts colleges. Okay. Well, my liberal arts college is a university. So is mine. That doesn't make any fucking sense. So that's really confusing. Okay. Okay. Second, what is the Liberty Bell? <laughs> oh, God. Fuck. I do that because I don't fully... I know what it is, right? Right. Like, I know what it is. I don't know what it fucking symbolizes. I, I mean, it's And Liberty. it has a crack in it. Yeah. But why? It's old. Who put a crack there? It's fucking old. Why they I think there was an the earthquake. Bell. If I'm not mistaken. Didn't we go see the Liberty Bell? No. No, because it's in Pennsylvania, right? I've seen the Liberty Bell. Okay. Yeah, That's fuck you. That's not what you. I'm asking. I'm asking what is it? I put the it? crack in the Liberty fucking bell. <laughs> Did you know that if you're blind, you get to touch the Liberty Bell? Because you can't see it? But what does it... What is what? it? What? What? I saw a TikTok today. That doesn't today. make any fucking sense. Yes, I saw a TikTok today. Because you can't see it? That if you go to the Liberty Bell, okay. right? Most people aren't allowed to touch it because they're just there to look at it. It's like yeah. the Mona Lisa. Yes. Right? Like you go and you look at it. Oh, but if you can't... So I can go touch... Is, this is the same apply to Mona Lisa? No, no, no. It's just at the Liberty Bell. The, if you're blind, the workers will let you come up and touch it because you can't see it. Was it made by Jesus? Is it fucking heal the blind? No. Uh, I've never heard of that shit in my life. Okay. I'm just telling you what I saw on the TikTok. Okay. I'm not trying to attack you. That just doesn't make any fucking but sense. But what is the Liberty Bell? I don't... That's We're all. learning today. Okay. Because I don't know. I I have not thought about the fucking Liberty Bell in forever. I thought about it today when I saw that TikTok. It's an iconic symbol of American independence. Okay. Real, real fucking helpful. <laughs> but why? Um, the bell was commissioned by the Pennsylvania blah 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 from the from London. Was cast lettering proclaimed liberty throughout all the land unto all the inhabitants thereof. Uh, that is a reference to. So the it's not really book anything. Of, yeah, it's it's a symbol. It's just okay. Yeah, it's okay. supposed to be. It's like fucking blah, like Statue of Liberty. Like what is the, the its fucking point? Right. Okay, my next one is less educational. Sure. Why get a back tattoo if you can't see it? Because it's cool. What do you mean? But like I I don't want a back tattoo because I can't see it. I can't look at it. So why do I want that? Because it's a big spread. What? It's a, it's not not everything is just for you. But it's cool to look at. My tattoos. It's art. I know my tattoos are for me. I'm getting them because I think they're pretty and I want to look at them. Well, other people can also look at them. Yeah, but it's not for other people to look at. That's just know. how I see. Some it. people like it depends. It depends what kind of back tattoo you get. Okay. Like I'm gonna get my back tattooed. I don't give a shit. You already I, have it. Yeah, I I can't see that shit. I know. That's why I'm asking you. Because I have a back tattoo. Yeah. Why know. you can't it's a, see it? It's a good spot. Probably looks cool. 
Well, it doesn't. Not mine. <laughs> well, I'm never going to get it touched up. Thank you, Isabel, for giving me the world, not world's shittiest tattoo. That's a little harsh. I think it is. And I think no. she knows it is. Oh, my God. It is not that bad. It's it also is. not supposed to be perfect. Everyone thinks it's supposed to be perfect. No, I know. Parker, throw up a picture of your fucking tattoo that you have in your back that everyone makes fun of. <laughs> yes, it's not the best. Okay. Uh, hey, fucking Isabel did it in our living room. Okay. <laughs> It's fine. It's, 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 I'm never going to get it touched up or covered up. It's going to stay that way. I might get the color touched up, but that's it. Yeah. It's supposed to be a birthmark. So it's not supposed to be fucking perfect. Right. Okay. I'll do one more. Okay. Go for it. What are states called in other countries? Provinces. Some, some countries just call them states. It really just depends. Okay. There's states in other countries. They don't call them, but not everyone calls them states. No, like Canada, it's provinces. Okay. So, do they have governors? <laughs> yeah, they have a governing. They have like a governing person. It's not necessarily always a governor. I forget what it's called. If it's a province, sometimes it's governors. Sometimes okay. it's um. I don't think they call them bishops anymore, but there are bishops still. I don't know if that's just the church. But like in France, do they have provinces? I think it's the province of yeah provinces is in France I believe. Okay, I, I, could, I could be wrong. Because I've never really heard another country country call, call their thing states. They're what? Some countries don't have. It's just a country. It depends on its size. Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? Luxembourg, bro. <laughs> that shit is this big. They don't have anything. It's just a country. Lesotho? They don't have any sort of state or anything. They are its own. It's so small. It is its own fucking. It's just a country. Yeah, it's just a country. Huh. That's interesting. Like Australia, I don't know what they're called. I think they're I don't think they're provinces. Oh, I don't know. There's tons That's of different words. You. There's tons of different words. Okay. They're not all called states. Okay. Do you it's... have it? oh. <laughs> I forgot to mention at the beginning of the uh, podcast. Happy Rosh Hashan. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I don't know what that is. It's a Jewish holiday. Oh. It's the first day Shalom. of the Okay. It's the first day of the Jewish... <laughs> the, it's the Jewish New Year today. Okay. Yay! Happy New Year. It's the first day of the 10 days of um, sacrament. Fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, is that when Yom Kippur happens? Yom Kippur is next Sunday. It's it's the 10 days of atonement. Slay Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur is the day of... You, you fast during Yom Kippur. Right. So you know about Yom Kippur, but you don't know about fucking Rosh Hashan? I only know about Yom Kippur because we talked about it in Bible class once, and two of my friends thought it was the funniest thing ever, and they said it all the time, and that's what they called each other. That's a little insensitive to the Jewish, to Judaism as a whole. Well, now I know what it is. It's, yeah. To our viewers uh, practicing Judaism, happy Rosh Hashan. Okay. Do you have any questions for me? Mm, why are you the way that you are? Um, uh, <laughs> Who's your biggest inspiration? That You're isn't your family that. member. Oh, that is my family member? Yeah, like a person. JC Marie Smith. It's not Obama. Okay. It's JC. Um I don't have that. I mean, I kind of just ask you questions on the a day-to-day -day basis. Okay. Why do people like cats the musical? That's not a question for me. I mean, I did enjoy you do it. You like cats? I thought it was good. I thought it was fun. I thought it was a vibe. Okay. I had a good time. Mm -hmm. The only time I wasn't happy was when Taylor Swift was there randomly. Not the movie. Oh, you mean just the musical? I said the musical. Oh, sorry. I just assumed you were talking about No, the about movie it. fucking sucked. The musical is beautiful. No. The musical boring. The choreography, the music, it's beautiful. Fucking what's his name? What? Uh, Rum Tum Tum... R Rum, Rum Tum Tubber, Tum bro? <laughs> M Mistop what is it? Mistopheles? Mr. Mistopheles? Yeah. What uh, what is it? Father Time? What is the it's the, the old old Deuteronomy? Yeah. Like what the fuck are these names? It's Rum Tum Tubber. It's beautiful. It's not. It's boring. It's so boring. The girls that get it get it. Okay. Why are you Lin Manuel Miranda's number one fan? Is the the question I will I will. That leave is off. not what that means. I am not. You I are. literally despise that man. He wore jeans. To sing for the President of the United States. Wouldn't you? He showed up to the White House in jeans. You'd wear, you'd wear pajamas. Not to the White House. I think you would. I don't think I would. Not to the White House. You, you thought about it, though. <laughs> you really thought okay, about it for a second. But if I'm just, like, going on a tour, that's different than literally performing for 
Obama. I almost toured the White House. Okay, same, but that's not what we're talking about. I just want to throw that out there. I'm just saying he was literally performing for him, putting I on know. a show I know. for him. I know. I'm kidding. And, and they he were skin tight jeans. Jeans. And not only did he wear jeans, he wore a blue shirt with it. He broke the cardinal rule. No blue on blue. To the most fashionable president the world has ever seen. He Amen. wore blue on blue. Well, besides Fitzgerald Obama. Grant. Oh, he's not a real president. You have to stop believing. <laughs> he's my president. Okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> is there anything else for today's episode? We just kind of like pussyfooted around for a little while is what I call this. I'm going to call this episode pussyfoot around. Don't call it that. Okay. Call it party in the USA. I'm not going to be calling it that. Okay. You don't get to tell me what to do. Okay. Can we just end the episode already? I'm tired of this shit already. Apologize. That was mean. I'm sorry. Sometimes I think that maybe people who don't know us that are listening to this actually like, think that fuck? we hate each other. Yeah that, yeah, that I'm abusive to you or something. It's not. It's how we flirt with each other. That's not. Ew. No. <laughs> God. It's how we communicate. That's just how we talk. Yeah. But I love you. Oh. One last note. Oh, okay. Members of the audience wanted me to apologize to you because I was getting mad at you about you speaking your opinions on the band Fun and Some Nights. I will not be apologizing. That's not what I care about. What I care about is I just said I love you and you never said it back. Oh, I love you too. I love you too. I love you so much. <laughs> Come give me a kiss. Let's end the episode with a kiss. Mm-mm. Let's end the episode with a fucking kiss. I don't like PDA. I don't give a... F- we should play footsies under the table. <laughs> Ow! You can break everything. <laughs> oh my god, there's an earthquake. Stop. Holy shit. Let's end the episode. Stop. Okay. Say bye, Harold. You think if I threw this at the tripod, I could knock it over? It'd be a really cool transition. <laughs>